All right, folks, it's time to talk about some big deals getting done at Bricks. You guys already know the deal. We've been talking about this one for a while. The Bricks Summit, August 22nd through the 24th down in South Africa. This is a group that is growing and accelerating adoption of the ideas that are bringing these people together. I'm going to break this whole thing down for you guys. But before I get into it, I just want to let everybody know. You guys already know. Most of you haven't had to wait for me to explain what's taking place at Bricks to you know update you guys every day on how the Comex vaults are getting drained. You guys have already been stacking, but if you need help draining the vaults, if you're looking to fill up your vault, let us know. You can hit the link on down below or go to my website, zachrector.com, and we can get you hooked up with our Precious Metals partners. And we're talking about folks that'll ship the metals to you or roll over the 401k retirement account. Just let us know how you can help you. And I appreciate everyone who supports the channel by using our affiliates down below. It really helps us out. Thank you so much. Now, with that being said, let's get into this. Big deals getting done at Bricks. Many people are missing the point that this deal is way bigger than just Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, and the you know, a couple dozen other countries that have already formally applied to join BRICS, right? But what we have to understand is that this is a movement against the US dollar. Whether they're going to back it by silver, gold, oil, commodities, wheat, grain, you name it. These countries are have one thing in common. They want to get away from the West and the US dollar. And they're doing so. And now they're presenting deals on the world stage. I want to be clear. There's going to be a lot. Of, there already is. I mean, you guys are seeing it, right? The hype, the narratives. Are BRICS going to use XRP? I'm probably going to make a separate video about that because there's a lot that I can get into You know, on that conversation. There's a lot there, by the way. Are any of these governments going to come out and say that they're using XRP? Potentially. There's you know dozens of central banks that are working with Ripple right now. Uh, Ten projects that are already underway. And dozens of conversations that are taking place. Some of these countries do include... Uh, the BRICS nations. But like I said, back to the main point. What we have here, folks, is that many countries, not just the BRICS, not just the 67 countries that were invited to the summit, but there are, you know, almost 100 countries around the world that are moving away from the dollar. Now, many people still believe in the dollar, still backing the dollar, still buying our treasury bonds for whatever reason. You know, they're, they're, they're buying a promise from the U.S. government for 10 years out, 20 years out, even though we, you know, by the estimates are telling us that for every day for the next decade, we're going to be growing our debt here in the United States by $5.2 billion. So uh, if, you, if you want to do a deal with that business, with that government, God bless you. Let me know how that works out. For me, this is so, so ridiculous that folks want to, you know, downplay what is taking place because they don't understand the pain in these other uh, in these other countries sorry for getting twisted up on my words here a little bit they don't understand the pain of these other countries and why they have to get an alternative it's not a matter of oh i want my gains oh, oh i want to trade some crypto bro it's our people are starving we're going through a, a gas and energy crisis and our country has to reset the currency we have to restructure the debt and we're going to have to move forward and we're going to have to back it by real value if we want people to trust us so we've seen rampant inflation in these other countries energy crisis already hit riots in the street already hitting presidential candidates getting assassinated i mean you name it right there is chaos taking place across the planet what's taking place back home oh let me go Top off the propane so we can have a nice barbecue again this weekend. Let me, uh, you know, be flipping the burgers and having, enjoying some brews at the barbecue and talking about how America is going to be the best country forever. I love America. I don't think that the U.S. dollar is going away. I think that the U.S. dollar as we know it inevitably has to be reset. So just like I always say, we got to focus on the inevitable events. We can do decodes. We can do riddles. We can do moon dates. But if we focus on the inevitable events and we invest accordingly, our only problem is that we can be early, which is what we've been. We've been early on so much. Our research is so over the target and we are so, we're years ahead. Because many of this stuff has been planned out decades in advance. And if you listen to the elite, the powers that be, uh, you know, the presidents of these other countries, if you can get a translation on their speeches, they've been talking about moving away from the dollar, moving away from the West, calling out the West on their BS. And it really picked up when the United States decided, and, and basically all of NATO, 
all of these countries in the West decided to freeze the assets of the Russian oligarchs, the Russian, uh, you know, officials, and the rest of the folks across this planet are thinking we could be next, right? And I don't have to go into the stories about what took place with Gaddafi and Libya and all these other countries that we've gone in and overthrown. These leaders are thinking we could be next. You're seeing uh, the the presidential candidate in, I forget which country it was now, Ecuador, I believe, that was assassinated, right? This could be you next if you speak out. And there's bold people running and, and changing the rhetoric right now. It's not just Robert Kennedy Jr. here in the United States that's stirring it up. You go look at that guy that's running in Argentina that wants to d dissemble uh, the Central Bank of Argentina. Now that's bold. That's change, right? We want to run with some slogans right here. We can actually say that we're going to bring some change when you talk about taking down the Central Bank. But that's what also gets you taken out. And, and, and so once again, I want to bring this back to the main point that I think that many folks are missing that are trying to downplay bricks. They don't understand the pain that has you know, been inflicted by the U.S. dollar reserve currency status and by the West enforcing this reserve currency status through the end of the barrel of a gun. And these other countries going through an energy food crisis, situations and turmoil already in the streets while we're still here in America fat and happy. We're so out of touch with that reality, right? And that we're trying to downplay this without the understanding that it's not just a handful of countries. It's not just dozens of countries. It's not just the 67 nations that are coming together. And it's not that they even have to roll out or announce a new BRICS reserve currency. Guys, we have, we have what they're going to go back to already in circulation, already in limited supply, already running at a 230 million ounce deficit last year in 2022. Can you hear me out there? Okay, what have you been stacking? Okay, because over there, it's real value. We're clanking metal together. They're drilling oil. They got grain. They got wheat. They're producing something. They're not just exporting woke agenda and fiat funny money like we're doing in the West. See, and it's not even a matter of uh, a, a choice. They have to move. They had to reset their currency. They have to solve the energy crisis right? They got to feed their people. And, and, and we are so out of touch in the West with what is taking place over there. And then you ha just have straight out, uh, straight up mouthpiece, talking head pundits in the West. And I don't have to name the names. I don't have to name the outfits. You know who I'm talking about, where they just push the propaganda of the, the, the basically the U S dollar, whether or not it keeps the main uh, number one reserve currency status doesn't matter. We are already losing our share. If you go back and look what has taken place over just the last two decades, the amount of the, the reserve currency status that we've lost we went from about 60%. Now we're about to break through 50%. Now we still are the number one reserve currency by far. We still have a long ways to go, but we're about to drop over half of, of reserve currencies that are being held and being used. And that's the whole thing on what makes a reserve currency, right? Is folks want, want to hold it, right? It can be held on their balance sheet as a reserve, but then you can also use it for trade and for settlement. Well, how do you liquefy? How do you make these commodities, these precious metals liquid? It's DLT. So in my other video, I'm going to make a separate video talking about why BRICS needs a solution like XRP. XRP is the perfect solution, right? But why, you know, you're seeing countries like Zimbabwe, that are already making the announcements that they're going to go back digital currency. Now, this is the final point that I'm going to make. The hype, the narratives, it's all there. This is the biggest change that we've seen in 100 years. That's not clickbait. But let me explain how these market maker magicians always work. And we know this so well in the XRP community. We get a new partnership. We get a new deal announced. Price drops. This is what I'm expecting for gold and silver right now is for the paper derivative shorts. And the, the big money already went short. If you go look over the last couple of weeks, they went short heavy, the institutional money, the money managers shorting the heck out of silver and uh, gold right now. And then obviously they tanked Bitcoin as well too. And some folks think the BRICS need Bitcoin. If you think the BRICS needs Bitcoin, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below what you think the solution is. I keep on going to back to what is the best alternative, what is the best solution. 
and I keep on coming back to the same things. It's gold, silver, and the other precious commodities that the world actually needs. And then digital currencies like XRP with a limited supply, solid tokenomics, and a tremendous amount of utility that can actually, you know, we can see IOU tokens. We can see these assets, these commodities get tokenized and put on a ledger that's actually efficient and that functions as a neutral bridge currency with XRP as well. So they can put XRP on their balance sheet, but they can also use XRP to tokenize the commodities in their country that they want to tokenize to bring up their status in the world. So like I said, here in America, you know, I, I'm not here to debate whether or not the United States is still going to have a dollar. We're still going to have a dollar. That's not what we're trying to say. We're trying to say and trying to warn people this isn't fear mongering. Go look at the chart yourself and you can see the share of the U.S. reserve currency status that we've already lost. And we're just here to say that that trend is going to continue. These guys are not playing games. These guys don't do memes and jokes and play around. It's, it's not about overhyping it for them. It's about rolling up to the table to do a deal that's different from the United States and what the West has to offer. What did Russia just do? They forgave a bunch of debt of these African nations. China doing the same thing, but then they're also issuing debt in their currencies. Now, the, the BRICS does have problems. I understand where these people are coming from, trying to hate on the BRICS, trying to downplay BRICS. The BRICS does have some problems. They, they don't trust each other, right? They all have one thing in common. They want to get away from the US dollar, but they still don't trust each other. They don't even trust their, their own leaders in their own country, right? There's real, there's real problems. I'm not you know, here to say that BRICS is going to unleash their new currency and it's going to overtake the dollar in the next year. That's not what this is about, guys. This is about them buying more gold than they have in 50 years. And the banks in the West are doing that too, by the way. The, the same banks in the West that are telling us everything's fine, it's A-OK, -okay, no problems, while they hold $600 billion of uh, unrealized losses on their bonds while they have exposure to almost 2 trillion of commercial real estate in the U S that's gone defunct and bust <laughs> and the deal only worked at a 2% interest rate. There's a problem here with the, the, that the U S banks have right that we have here back home. And that's why they're getting exposure. That's why bank of America is getting paper exposure to gold and silver as well. You go look at the contracts that they've picked up, right? Gold and silver, but Folks, this is what I want to share with you guys here. Be prepared for gold and silver to go on sale. If the market maker magicians do it how they usually do it, they're going to actually dump this thing. And probably because they're pissed off that the BRICS is, you know, coming out with an alternative and they're talking bold and talking and doing deals over there. And the West doesn't like this. And what the West has historically done is we just take you out if we don't like what you're doing. So, the, you know, this, this would be expected to see them use the paper derivatives to short the heck out of these assets, right? And they're trying. But what, what is happening here? See, they control the levers of oil over there with OPEC, right? It's so like I said, it, it, so, so much attention on BRICS without understanding. It's not just these few countries. It's not just those that formally joined BRICS. It's our own allies in the form of Saudi Arabia that don't care. They're laughing. They're laughing at the Biden administration trying to fill back up the strategic petroleum reserves at 67 to 70 bucks per barrel. Every time we get close to 70, another production cut. We're already at a 2 million barrel per day deficit. They're in complete control. And this is how you bring America to its knees without having to fire a shot. Now we're bringing ourselves down on our own accord, our own doing with the internal chaos. Uh, looks like Trump's going to be arrested again on Thursday, right? So that's for another video. But the point that I want to bring home is that just understand the trend, okay? It's not that the U.S. dollar goes away. It's not that we're going to not be number one. We might still be number one, but we're not going to be number one by the margin that we once were, unless we're about to pull some gold out of our sleeve, pull some XRP out, and Rosa Rios helped get that deal conducted, right? But from what we know right now, these countries are moving to asset-backed systems. And the final point that I'm going to make is that Zimbabwe announced their gold-backed digital currency months ago. That was towards the beginning of this year. They still haven't issued it. So even if BRICS does come up with an announcement, we're going to anchor our BRICS currency to uh, gold. We're going to do something, right? It still might take months or years 
for them to actually roll it out. So we have to understand that's why you could potentially see the market maker magicians do what they do best and short the heck out of these suppressed assets that are going to run the new financial system. We already saw crypto get beat up. That was on sale, already scooped it up. I'm calling my silver dealer next, not here to give you financial advice, just telling you what I'm doing. I'm picking up the phone, I'm calling my dealer, and we're gonna be loading up our vaults. That's what I'm doing. You guys can go to the links on down below if you guys are looking to pick some up. I want folks to understand this is a big deal, what is taking place in BRICS. This is something that we haven't seen in 100 plus years, okay? But understand that doesn't mean that they're not going to, once again, manipulate these assets lower, keep us distracted, keep folks shaken out by price, short-term price action that folks can't emotionally stomach, i.e. taking XRP to a dollar after uh, you know Judge Torres ruling and order, and we get to celebrate victory. Okay, it's fantastic. All the exchanges go bust. They short the heck out of it, back down to a 42% liquidation event, the biggest liquidation event in the history of Bitcoin, as we warned about by the way, right? And so right here, I'm warning you guys, don't don't get overhyped on these narratives and prepare, prepare, because this is what they do and we keep on taking advantage of it. You guys want a short silver? Fantastic. We love picking it up under 30 bucks per ounce, even when you tack on the premium. And the premiums have been going up because once again, we have a massive shortage. Just uh, today here, once again, we got another million ounces drained from the COMEX vault. So we had 10% of the COMEX vault drain last week in one day, 3 million ounces swooped. Today, 1 million ounces, 1.15 million ounces swooped here once again. So once again, what's the trend? Is the trend that the US dollar reserve currency status is growing? No. Is the trend that we're, we have more silver than we need? No, there's a deficit and it's growing. So you guys can, you know, uh, wait it out patiently with me as we watch them, you know, Compress all these assets, that's fine, and take advantage of it with me. And that's what I'm doing right now. Like I said, I'm about to call my silver dealer as well. Gonna pick up some more. It's an absolute pleasure to pick up these suppressed assets. And that's what we do. Appreciate all of you guys for tuning in. It's always a pleasure trying to cut through the confusion, the noise, the hype, and the narratives to provide you guys the truth on what is actually taking place. Everything else can be found at my website, zachrector.com. God bless all of you. We'll see you in the next one.